coastal processes. Weathering. The UK coast. The coastline of the United Kingdom has incredible diversity. Around the 30,000 kilometres of coastline, you will see sand and shingle beaches, limestone headlands, and chalk and boulder clay cliffs. There are many processes happening at the coast which create these dramatic features. Marine processes are the sea based changes which affect the shape of the coastline, and subaerial processes are the land based changes above the sea line which affect the shape of the coastline. This includes mass movement and weathering. This nugget focuses on subaerial processes, in particular, exploring the process of weathering. Weathering is the weakening or decay of rocks in situ, or where the rock is. There are three types of weathering. These are mechanical weathering, which can also be known as physical weathering, chemical weathering, and biological weathering. Mechanical weathering is the disintegration or breakup of rocks. Where this happens, scree, a mass of loose stones, builds up at the foot of cliffs. Chemical weathering is changes to a rock caused by chemical changes. Rainwater, which is slightly acidic, can impact on the structure of rocks. And finally, biological weathering is the weakening and disintegration of rocks by plants, animals and microbes. Freeze-thaw weathering is a type of mechanical weathering. Let's look at it step by step. Number 1. Rainfall enters small cracks in the rock. 2. When it cools, the water freezes and expands. This widens and enlarges the cracks. 3. The ice melts and the process starts again. 4. The process happens repeatedly. The cracks continue to increase in size. 5. Eventually the rock may split in half, or fragments may break off. These images show examples of freeze-thaw weathering. Fragments of rock can collect at the bottom of a cliff face as scree. Salt weathering is another type of mechanical weathering. Let's look at the step-by-step -step process of salt weathering. Number 1. Sea spray in the air fills cracks in the rock. Number 2. In warmer weather, when the water evaporates, salt crystals are left behind. And number 3. This weakens its structure and fragments break off. This image shows an example of a rock weathered by salt in seawater. Moving on to chemical weathering. Carbonation is a type of chemical weathering. Rainfall absorbs carbon dioxide or CO2 from the atmosphere and it becomes slightly acidic. Number two, contact with alkaline rocks, such as chalk or limestone, produces a chemical reaction. And three, the rock slowly dissolves over time. Rocks can be chemically weathered by slightly acidic rain. Some rocks are also broken down by oxygen and water. Iron-rich rocks can turn rust-coloured due to the presence of iron oxide. And finally, let's look at biological weathering. Plant roots grow into cracks in rocks. Animals can weaken rocks by burrowing down into the soil. Summary 
Weathering is the breaking down of rocks in situ. It is caused by processes above the sea line, in the atmosphere and surrounding environment. The types of weathering are mechanical weathering, chemical weathering, and biological weathering. They all have an impact on the coast as cliffs are exposed and vulnerable to sub aerial processes. Our key words Mechanical weathering the disintegration or breakup of rocks. Chemical weathering changes to a rock caused by chemical reactions. Biological weathering rocks weakened or broken down by plants, animals, or microbes. Sub aerial processes land based changes affecting the coastline, including weathering and mass movement. And scree a mass of loose stones at the base of a mountain slope or cliff.